Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be doing a video about bands and artists I can't get into for whatever reason. So, these are going to be bands I've given some kind of chance, or just don't really have any interest in pursuing from what I've heard. For the most part, these are not bands I hate. I might like some songs by these bands and artists, but that doesn't mean anything. These are also not bands that I'm interested in listening to more of. Um, there's a lot of bands like, for instance, Aerosmith or Santana or bands like that, which I do like a couple songs by them, but I want to hear more. So there's a band I'm definitely not interested in. Those are just bands I haven't gotten into yet, but they're on my list of things I want to listen to. So these are bands that I've tried to listen to and haven't gotten into. So, um, bands and artists and pretty much any genre goes here. Uh, these are just things in general that I'm just not super into. So the first one is going to be Imagine Dragons. Now, um, I know Imagine Dragons are really popular band, and I actually have enjoyed a number of their songs. I do kind of enjoy their sound. Um, I like um, Natural, Believer, um, even Whatever It Takes, um, even Thunder on occasion. I just don't like, I just don't like um, how repetitive it is. I like parts of it. I like parts of it. I don't like the little chipmunk vocals on Thunder. Um, a few other songs that I like by them, some of their older songs, I really like, um, Top of the World, uh, Radioactive is probably one of my favorites, um, so I actually am kind of familiar with Imagine Dragons, but, um, I like, I weirdly like that Sucker for Pain song from Suicide Squad, um, but whenever I tried to get into them or tried to listen to their albums, I just wasn't super into it, and I feel bad for that saying that, but honestly, that's where I was at with it. And there's just not enough variety. They're just too generic for me to really dig, sink my teeth into. I was listening to The Neighborhood today. They're pretty interesting. But yeah, Imagine Dragons are just kind of generic and out there. Next up, we're getting into the really controversial, the really, um... Stuff. And this is a band I can see myself... This is a band I have tried several times, and I can see myself getting into them in the future. And I definitely have a lot of respect, and I think I just need to listen to them more, maybe? But I, I've tried a few times with them, and I, and I haven't gotten fully into them. And this is Led Zeppelin. I know this is a really, really popular, like, classic rock. Everyone will talk about it. I mean, of course, I love the Beatles. I love Pink Floyd. I love Queen, you know, all the classic rock. So, of course, like, why wouldn't I love Led Zeppelin? I don't, can't really pinpoint why. I really enjoy Whole Lot of Love. That's a good song. And I enjoy, I kind of like the last part of Stairway to Heaven. I never really got the hype with that song. I understand why somebody would like it, but I just never really f made me feel anything. Like a song like A Day in the Life or Bohemian Rhapsody or Champagne Supernova. Like, the way those songs give me, like, feelings, those, like, big epic songs. Some people have that feeling with Stairway to Heaven, which is fine, but I could just never get into it, honestly. And, um, Black Dog is a good song, but oh, I just, Led Zeppelin was a band I just felt like I could never fully get into, and I feel bad for that. But maybe I will one day, but for now, I don't know. Alright, next up we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do... Something that's very modern, and this is going to be Drake. Now, I know Drake is someone who I've never really, like, tried to, like, listen to his albums in particular, but he's just such a super power force, I can't avoid it, Drake. I feel like if I had any interest in pursuing Drake, I would have done it by now, considering, um, yeah. He had hit after hit on the radio, and I really enjoyed, um, God's plan kind of ironically because I thought it was funny and I enjoyed it in my feelings I really did and nice for what is a fantastic song but otherwise I just don't get his appeal I some of his old songs I enjoy one dance that's about it um hotline bling is okay I guess it's kind of a meme but I just don't really get the appeal of Drake no offense but um I could just never vibe with it he's just so tiring I understand why people like him in this era but I don't get the appeal of that entire genre of mumble rap and yeah, Drake just seems really bored to me, and that's one of my biggest problems with him, is that is how bored he is. Staying on the modern bands, or modern artists trend here, I'm going to talk about Maroon 5. This is another band which I've liked a number of their songs. Uh, they make some good pop songs. I really enjoy, um, in some ways it's a bit of a guilty pleasure. Um, like, I really do like a lot of the Black Eyed Peas songs, kind of ironically, just as um, a guilty pleasure. Um, I've talked about this. I should talk about, like, 2005 songs sometimes because that would be really funny. Yeah, the Black Eyed Peas are a um, 
I could do like the best and worst songs of like 2005, and I could talk about my humps. But um, the Black Eyed Peas are a guilty pleasure of mine. Rune 5 reminds me a little bit of that, except they're more flavorless and bland. I do really enjoy this love from their first album, Songs About Jane. And a few of their other songs aren't terrible, and I kind of enjoy them un unironically. I mean, I kind of enjoy stuff like One More Night, and I don't hate moves like Jagger. Payphone is kind of cringy, honestly. Sugar, at the same time, I just can't get with it. And, uh... Probably my least favorite song by them is What Lovers Do, featuring SZA. That song just really pisses me off. Um, I guess I didn't mind, don't want to know. I kind of liked Cold. Um, and then this year they released Girls Like You and Wait. Wait, which I find hilariously bad. And Girls Like You, which I actually kind of liked that one at first. Sure, it's boring and clunky, but once I kept listening to it again and again, not by choice... It kind of got grating on me pretty fast, and now I'm not a fan. So, yeah, Maroon 5 is just a band I couldn't see myself pursuing much. Even if for older work, like, I do enjoy some of the older work, but I just don't like Adam Levine's falsetto. I don't like his voice. I don't know. Just Maroon 5 is a band I've never been able to pursue. Next up is going to be Shakira. Now, um... I do like shallow pop music. Sometimes I listen to K-pop a good bit. So none of those bands will be on this list. I've enjoyed what I've heard of BTS. I'm a huge fan of Blackpink. Uh, from what I know of them, they don't have a ton of music out yet, but I do really enjoy them. And FX from a while back. So I do really like K-pop. Those are probably the main ones I listen to. Like, um, probably like BTS, Blackpink, FX, and Psy, and 2NE1. Those are probably the main things I listen to. But I'm off topic. Uh... But, um, Shakira came from an era of a lot of, like, blonde sex divas and, like, shallow mu music from that era. Uh, with people like Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears. Christina Aguilera, who is actually a talented singer, and Britney Spears, for some reason, I... is not a very talented singer, but I do enjoy some of her songs. I think her songs are catchy. I enjoy them unironically. I really enjoy Baby One More Time. I'm toxic. Even, like, Oops, I Did It Again is not a bad song. Womanizer, um... So yeah, I really enjoy several of Britney Spears' songs. But um, Shakira is just someone I could never really vibe with. I, I don't mind Hips Don't Lie. I kind of like that song. I have that song come up on my Pandora today, and I was listening to it. Um, and I like the song Can't Remember to Forget You with Rihanna, but I, honestly, I think I prefer Rihanna's part in that. I am a pretty... I do really enjoy Rihanna quite a bit. And, um... Um... I like... And, um... I liked the song from Zootopia at first. Honestly, I think that song got a bit grating on me because I played it way too much. It was the first song I bought, and I was very obsessed with it when I saw Zootopia. So, uh, yeah. Um, but, um, it's still a decent song in my opinion. But out outside of that, and of course, Whenever, Wherever is iconic, I just couldn't see myself pursuing Shakira based on the image, based on the titles, based on the music. She's just someone I just can't really see myself getting into. Alright, going back to the, um, prog rock side of things for a minute. There's two bands I want to talk about. Um, two other bands I can't get into that I want to talk about. Um, so, you know, I love Queen, I love Super Tramp, um, ELO, which are a little more on the poppier side. They're not really prog rock as much. It's kind of on the line between Rock and Pop Super Tramp a bit, too, but Super Tramp definitely have prog rock elements in it. I've, um, on some of their stuff. Um... Similarly, that kind of 70s stuff, and Queen and Pink, Pink Floyd is probably the most, like, proggiest kind of thing I listen to. Um, but I, the more, like, pure prog rock is something I could never quite get into, although I tried. So the first band I want to talk about is Yes. Now, I definitely respect them. I know they're a really good band. But, um, just, I tried to get into them, and I do enjoy Roundabout. Of course, it's a meme. I heard it as a meme. But once I listened to the entire song, I'm like, hey, this song is actually kind of good. Um, I tried getting into them, like, after I got really into, like, Oasis. And, uh, because I was, like, really into prog rock for a while, but then I got, like, really into Oasis. And after, ever since then, I've been into, like, Oasis and then, like, a bunch of, like, 90s, like, Britpop and, like, 90s music in general. And also, because I'm getting into, like, Gorillaz, I'm getting into, like, a lot of, like, electronic stuff and, uh, th stuff like that. So, um, and we can talk about that in a minute as well. Uh, but, um... Like, it's coming up on my station. A lot of the stuff that's coming up on my station I really enjoy. Like, I want to listen to the White Stripes more. I want to listen to them. They're good. And, um, 
MDMT, that's one that's coming up on my station. I enjoy it. So, because I'm listening to stuff like that, I'm saying I think I'm going to look for, like, more modern alternative things these days. And also 90s stuff. And less for 70s prog rock. That doesn't mean I won't go through another 70s prog phase. But I think it just didn't work for me. The songs are really long, and I tried listening to them. Owner of a Lonely Heart has an undeniable riff, though. I... Yeah. But, um, the video was just kind of weird, and... Found about the thing. I tried listening to a couple of their other songs, but honestly, I don't remember how they went. They were just so long, I couldn't get into it. And the other band I want to talk about, which I couldn't get into, which is another prog rock band, is Styx. Now, uh, basically, I'm sorry. The only way I can think of Styx as a is as a discount queen. I uh, don't mean to think that way, but pretty much everything about them seems like they're trying to be queen, but they're just worse. Now, um, I don't hate them or anything, except I don't. I do not like. Dennis D. Young's voice. I do not like it, especially like on Come Sail Away. I do not like his voice. The only one I actually like is Tommy Shaw, and I really like the song Renegade, but that's pretty much the only song I would ever see myself going back to, so. And actually, actually, no, my dad played me another one that I enjoyed, but I cannot remember for the life of me what it was called. I am so sorry. So, uh, but just in general, I just don't like Dennis D. Young's voice, and they just seem like they're trying to be queen, but they just don't have the, the writing or the pipes. They don't have the pipes of Freddie Mercury and they don't have the writing of like some of the other like prog rock bands to back it up. So honestly I just can't get into it. Going back to the more modern side of things, Ed Sheeran. Now I actually have been into Ed Sheeran a bit in the past. I've liked several of his songs. I like Don't. I was just listening to that one the other day. That's a really good song. Um, Out Loud is just really boring. I used to listen to that. Uh, some of his newer songs, I like Eraser, um, Castle on the Hill, and, um, I liked Perfect at first. <laughs> Honestly, I think Ed Sheeran for me has been killed by overplay. I do think he's kind of talented as, like, a folk. I joked how, like, James Arthur is X Factor Ed Sheeran. He's, like, Ed Sheeran, but t takes away anything that makes Ed Sheeran interesting. But, um, actually, Ed Sheeran, to me, should never make pop songs. He should never make songs like Shape of You. That song is just annoying, and it gets played all the time, and it really annoys me. Still, it still gets played all the time. I do not like that song, and honestly, Ed Sheeran just kind of bothers me now, um, now that his songs get overplayed. I actually think Shawn Mendes is getting better. I don't like his old songs, but I actually think he's getting better. Same with Charlie Puth. I actually really enjoyed Charlie Puth's album, Voice Notes. So, yeah. Anyway, Ed Sheeran, I, I respect you, but, like, your music is just whatever. Next up is Beyonce. Now, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this, but I absolutely love um, a couple of her songs. I do think Beyonce is very talented, and I respect her quite a bit. Um, I got really into Crazy in Love. I still listen to that song all the time. Uh, Run the World Girls from uh, from time to time. Um, Naughty Girl. Uh, of course, Single Ladies is iconic. Drunk in Love. There's a lot of other songs um, by her. Irreplaceable. I was just listening to that one the other day. Um, I do really enjoy Beyonce. But, um... In terms, and some of her stuff with Destiny's Child as well, but in terms of albums, I tried listening to her self-titled album, I think it was. I know everyone's going to say, listen to Lemonade, but I can't because it's not on Apple Music, and I'm not going to go out of my way to buy it because I'm not invested enough in Beyonce to buy it. Maybe I can listen on YouTube somewhere. Maybe there's, like, a pirated version on YouTube. I don't know. But, yeah, um, yeah. Anyway, Beyonce, just an artist, I, I just, honestly, her fans annoy me more than her, uh, and that's just one of my problems. Like, I know Ariana Grande fans have been a little bit turned me off of Ariana Grande and her fandom a bit right now. Um, I, I do like Ariana Grande, but her fans can get really annoying, so that's one of the things that bothers me. Now, while we're sticking on the topic of modern things, um, I'm gonna try to go through this kind of quickly, because there's just a couple artists I just can't get into, and, um, the first one is going to be Nicki Minaj. Uh, now, I definitely respect, I think she is talented, but, um, honestly, I'm more in, out of the two, I definitely prefer Cardi B, that's just my personal opinion, um, and I'm not even saying as a person or anything, but as a rapper, I think her flow is really good, Ah, uh, Nicki's flow is undeniably good as well, but stuff she writes, I just don't like her songs, I don't like her voice, her voice is really annoying, and, uh, some of the stuff she writes just seems whatever. I think Anaconda is actually kind of cool when she starts spewing nonsense, up to, leading up to the chorus, but a lot of the songs she makes are just so clunky. When she tries to make pop songs, it's even worse. Sorry, Tom Hiddleston. Next. All right. Uh, this is an artist that I've, uh, that critics seem to like now, even though she made a bad first impression. Carly Rae Jepsen. Now, I did really enjoy the song Cut to the Feeling. It was okay, but 
Yeah, Carly Rae Jepsen. I don't know why some people I watch really like her. She just seems pretty generic to me and honestly a little too girly. Maybe it's just me personally. It's just my taste. I just could never get into Carly Rae Jepsen. I definitely don't like Call Me Maybe. I really, really, really like you. Oh, those types of songs. Um, even a lot of her other songs. Just, whew. Carly Rae Jepsen. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we're, on, we're down to the last few things here. Um, which is... Guns and Roses. Um, I do enjoy some of their songs. Again, I've heard, like, like Sweet Child of Mine, like, a lot of the songs are undeniably. I do like Welcome to the Jungle, uh, November Rain, but, like, I don't know. Um, from everything I've heard, Axl Rose does not seem like a very likable human. Now, it could just be me, but that's everything I've heard. And, honestly, I haven't cared enough to pursue it. The music hasn't drawn me in enough to pursue them personally, so it's just a band I couldn't get into. I am sorry. Um... Because I've been listening to a lot of stations. Here's a band that I have kind of mixed feelings about as of now. Um, but he don't feel like I'm really going to get super into. Um, Daft Punk. Now, Daft Punk, I really like um, the newer stuff they do with, like, collaborations. Like, the stuff they did with, like, um, Pharrell. Like, that song is really good. And The Weeknd. But when they were just doing, like, their own stuff, like, back a long time ago, it's just super repetitive, like, the vocals and stuff. And that's the kind of thing which annoys me when something is, like, super, super repetitive. Now it's not my biggest problem, but it's just something that kind of annoys me about Daft Punk, uh, Daft Punk's music. Um, although, I don't hate it or anything, but, um, that's just my opinion. And, um, we are down to the last couple, which are kind of similar, but not really. So, uh, this first one I want to talk about is 21 Pilots. Now, this is a band that I could see myself getting into. I really respect them. I wish I was more into them than I was. 21 Pilots is, is a band that I really want to be into. You know what I mean? But, um, everything I've heard, it seems like Tyler Joseph is, like, a really deep person. And there's, like, a lot of really deep stuff going on there. And I respect that. I want to support songwriters who are deep and yet making it in the mainstream right now. I want to support that. But honestly, I could just never get into the music. It's not because he's rapping. It's not because I don't like his voice particularly, although it's not my favorite. Maybe I should give Trench a try. I've heard some really good things about it. But I remember I tried to give Blurry Face a try a while back and I actually do enjoy a couple of the songs off Blurry Face. Outside of the hits, I really enjoy Fairly Local. That's one I really enjoy in Lane Boy. Um... But, um, yeah, and I really enjoy Heathens, and, uh, from the new album, I really did enjoy Jumpsuit when it dropped. You saw me react to that if you watched my channel for a long time. I kind of went crazy when Jumpsuit reacted. Holy shit, Walk the Moon just released a new song. What the hell? Like, how did that happen? I was just randomly watching Gorillaz videos, and then Walk the Moon released a new song. Oh, okay, that, very off topic. All right, going back to, um, 21 Pilots. <sighs> Band I just really wish I was into. Honestly, I think it's the fans, but that's kind of hypocritical, because... I'm listening to Gorillaz, and I really like them, and their fans are weird, too, so I don't know why I don't like 21 Pilots. I just, I, it's not that I dislike them, I just can't get into it as much as I would like to. And the last thing I want to talk about is something a little more broad. Uh, it narrows down to one band in particular, which everyone's going to butcher me on, and then just some other things that I have a bit of problems with. And this is like emo, emo bands and emo music, and My Chemical Romance in particular. It's just a band I could never get into. So, that kind of, like, screamo sound, I guess, I don't hate it at all, but it can get, I, I don't like it in the end, um, like, Black Parade is probably the only MCR song I can really think of off the top of my head, and I'm not a huge fan of it, I do enjoy, like, the opening part, but then it just gets really loud, it's not that I don't like loud music, I really do, um, and at least it's not new metal, because that stuff sounds garbage. Although Linkin Park is a band I feel like I could potentially get into, but otherwise, new metal is garbage. Um, I'm not, I'm not super into Linkin Park, but I feel like I could potentially get into them. So, yeah, um, so the next thing I want to say is, um, about emo music is that, um, I do really like a lot of, there are certain emo type things I like. I really like Evanescence. Um, their first album, Fallen, and I think I listened to their second album bit as well, um, The Open Door. Um, but, um, this is just something I want to say. So a lot of the bands, there are a lot of bands I enjoy, but I really like their newer stuff. So, like, Fall Out Boy and Panic at the Disco, which are kind of emo bands, I really, really enjoy their, like, 2015, 2016 kind of music, because I listened to the uh, Death of a Bachelor album by Panic, and the, especially the American Beauty, American Psycho album by Fall Out Boy, and those have very similar, very similar, um, 
sounds to them. And I really like Death of a Bachelor. It reminds me of American Beauty, American Psycho, which I absolutely love that album. I tried listening to their album before that, which was Say Rock and Roll, and I wasn't really too into it. I like a couple of the songs. I like a Phoenix, and of course, my songs know what you did in the dark, but I just couldn't get super into it. And that's not even going back to their emo days. And of course, I've heard, and, and uh, with Panic, I was no big fan of the Pray, to the Wicked, uh, Pray for the Wicked album, but I do really enjoy Saturday Night and High Hopes. So, going on with, I, I would consider myself a fan of Panic and Fall Out Boy. I, I haven't listened to Fall Out Boy's newest album, but, um, it's just that, it's just that when I try to go back and listen to their older songs, I feel like Fall Out Boy, I feel like Panic more than Fall Out Boy is something I could potentially get into their older stuff, because everything I've heard from Panic, I've liked. I just haven't really pursued their older stuff yet. But it's like, of course I have I Write Sends Out Tragedies. I was listening to that the other day. That's an emo classic. See, I didn't really grow up with this kind of music, so I like the newer stuff better. And I really do enjoy a lot of, every all the Panic songs I've heard, um like this is gospel like every I haven't really heard that many songs before Death of a Bachelor album and Pray for the Wicked but um yeah this song is but yeah that's my thing I feel like I could get more into Panic and Fault where especially after Save Rock and Roll I don't know why I know a lot of people said that American Beauty American Psycho felt even less like Fall Boy than like Save Rock and Roll but I don't know the, the collaborations on Save Rock and Roll I'm gonna sound like a bitch who hates collaborations. We're not gonna, we're, we are, we are avoiding that today. Um, I do need to listen more. I do not hate collaborations, but having, like, rap collaborations on Save Rock and Roll did not work at all. Um, like, yeah. So, um, honestly, again, I really, I really respect, and, like, listening to Fault Boys, it is a sugar, we're going down. Why? Okay, I do like Thanks for the Memories. I like that one. But in general, I just can't get into their older stuff. And Paramore is another band that whenever I try to listen to their older stuff, I think I want to listen to their older stuff again. Uh, I really liked their last two albums. But when I try to listen to older stuff, I've heard a song that gets played a lot. I think it's... I'm not actually sure which one it is. It might be Misery Business because I know that's one people talk about. And Decode, I actually really like that song. I haven't downloaded it. I should probably do that. But um, I w but other than that, I haven't really, I couldn't really get into their older stuff. Uh, I will have to try to do that some other time. So in terms of emo music, I really like a lot of the bands that used to be emo and are no longer emo. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately, that's just where I'm at with it. And um, yeah, that is um, where I'm at with music. So those are just a few bands I can't get into. If I ever decide to get into them, um, I will um, do that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you click, if you liked it, click like and subscribe to the channel.